Look at this beautiful harvest. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at these peppers. Those are Ajbarski. Those are one of our very favorite red peppers. They're so amazing. As you can see, there's a lot there. Mostly peppers. I will be picking more tomatoes probably in the next couple of days. And I will be doing some more tomato canning. Because we have a lot of tomatoes coming. But today is all about chopping and freezing peppers. So I've got to get to chopping all these peppers to get them in the freezer. But once I get all these peppers chopped, I'm going to show you two easy ways to freeze your peppers once they're chopped. So come along with me. Hey friends, this is Angela from Art of Creation Homestead and as you just saw, had an amazing pepper harvest. And as you just heard me tell you, I'm going to teach you two ways to freeze these peppers. That way you can have this wonderful, fresh, homegrown pepper taste all winter long. So, as you can see, I've got them all chopped up. I've got three different varieties here on my cutting board. And this big pile here is the Ajvarskis that I was telling you about. This little pile over here is just a pepper colored orange bell. They are amazing. And this here is one of our longtime favorites here on the homestead. These are Cubanelles. You saw me put these in my salsa. They are wonderful in salsa. They are wonderful in anything. So, let's get started with the first method. These, these peppers have all been seeded, washed, and chopped. Now, the first thing you want to do for the first method that I'm going to teach you is you want to get a food a freezer bag even if no matter what type you want to use this is just a freezer bag you want to mark it with the name of the pepper and the date the year and the first the first way we're going to do it is I'm just going to load these up into the bag I'm just, all of these chopped peppers I'm just going to load them up into the bag don't load your bag too full if you load them too full, they it becomes a little tricky to get them out of the bag. <laughs> so don't load them too full. And this way is very, very easy. It's probably the easier of the two. Well, not really easier. It's the quicker of the two. Um... But I'm going to show you both methods, and you pick what you like. You pick the method that you like. See, now we have a whole bag. See, you want to leave about that much room at the top of your bag. See, you want to leave that because you want space in there. Now you want to push out all the air, lay them down flat, push out all the air, leave Leave a little space open right here so that you can push out all the air. And now, seal it down. Now you have a bag of peppers. Now, these will have a tendency to freeze together a little bit. I have discovered that that is not a problem. When I take the bag out and they seem a little frozen together, I just take a kitchen mallet and I just... Give them a couple little pops, just very gentle, just pop, pop, and they all just fall apart into individual chunks, which I, the individual chunks that I've cut them in. And I've never had a problem with them freezing so hard that I can't get them apart. Now, that's ready to go into the freezer. Now, for the next method. Method number two. This method has been referred to has individually quick frozen. It's where you freeze them before you bag them. You individually freeze them before you bag them. They freeze pretty quick that way. That's the reason they're called quick frozen. They freeze pretty quick that way. So we're going to do 
our orange and our cubanelle that way. You want to lay them out. I have a cookie sheet here and I've lined it with plastic wrap. You can line it with parchment paper, you can line it with wax paper, you can line it with foil. But I prefer plastic wrap for this because they have a tendency not to stick as much to plastic wrap. Now, one key to this, with the, the method I just showed you, you do not have to worry about drying the pepper as much after they have been washed. With this method, you have to make sure they are nice and dry. Now, they're still gonna have some pepper juice. It's just gonna happen. It'll be fine. <laughs> but from the water, you wanna make sure they're nice and dry. And you wanna make, make sure they're laid out in as, much, as close to a single layer as you can get them. Now, I'm gonna put the cubanelles on the other side. And these may not be as much of a individual layer because there's a few more of them, but it'll be fine. <laughs> as close to, you wanna do it as close to a single layer as you can get them. While I am chopping these peppers, I'm always munching on them. The, every one of these types are so delicious. Okay, now what we're, we are going to do with this, we are going to put, these in, put this pan in the freezer, just like it is. We are going to put this pan in the freezer on a flat surface. And it should only take just a few hours for these to be frozen hard enough that we can get them off the pan and put them in their bags. When these are frozen and this bag is frozen, I will show you the difference in the two. So we'll be back. Okay, it's been about an hour. And as you can see, the bag that I just packed, like they are, they're not fully frozen yet. They're almost, but they're not fully frozen yet. They, these will get harder. Now, here are the individually quick frozen. See, they're completely frozen. They're completely frozen, ready to go. So now all you have to do is mark your bags, like that one says orange bell, and load your individually frozen peppers into your bag. There is a reason that they are called individually quick frozen because these were frozen in less than an hour and they're individually frozen so you don't have to worry about them freezing together. So just roll your bag up to get the air out and zip it shut. See now you've got your pepper started and you just keep doing this and adding to the bag as you get ripe ones. The same and over here we have our cubanelles and as you can see nicely frozen there too in less than an hour. So we will put them in our bag and I'm just gonna at this point I'm just going to take my plastic wrap off and I'm just going to use it as a funnel to funnel them in to my bag. And there we go. And we will do the same thing. We will roll it down to push the air out and we'll seal it shut. And see, now we have cubanelles. And we will just keep adding to those bags. You just keep putting those in the freezer, adding to them. You can do the same with this method as well. But like I said, this method, they will stick together some. And like I said, I, in the past, I've just took a mallet, gave it just a couple of very gentle pops, and it's been perfect. These will not stick together because they have been individually quick frozen. Now I have given you two wonderful ways to freeze your peppers. That way you can have that freshness all winter long. You pick the one that you like. 
the individually quick frozen, I think I could quickly fall in love with that method. But this method, if you if you just need something really quick, and just throw it in a bag and forget it, then this is your method. You pick which one you like. We thank you for watching. We appreciate your love and support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We've got so much more coming your way. We love you. And as always, God bless and have an amazing day.